Huh. Never gonna slide out, huh? So this is the pack out rack that I was waiting on to finish the uh, build out of the trailer. And it all comes pre CNC'd by Andy Glass. He does these, I found them on Instagram. There you go, there's his uh, IG handle. That right there, that's what we're gonna be putting together, pack out rack system. He basically custom builds these to fit your application. He makes them so that you can use whatever storage system you want. I'm using the pack out obviously, so all of these, um, and I'll show you the tops, and why don't you grab one of them, Greg? All the shelves, they've got all the pack out slots already CNC machined out. So when we get done, we're gonna be able to set our pack outs in here and they're not gonna go anywhere. Nice. So this is the location where that uh, pack out rack is gonna go. And we had this in here just to make sure that we were spaced properly. When we installed all of this, we do need to router out or cut out the bottom of that shelf so that it will sit flush on the ground. Let's, uh, should we go check it first? Well, actually, what does it matter? It's either gonna work or it's not. If it doesn't work, then it doesn't go in. <laughs> Let's go and make sure it fits. I'd rather do modifications before we have to do extra work. Is it gonna stand up? Oh yeah. Oh, buddy. Do you see how close that was? That could have not been any more. It was perfectly planned. Are we in agreement it's gonna fit? We better take it all the way back and make sure. Yeah. Actually, Greg, I was thinking that you could, levels could even go behind there and hang on the wall. I found a, a fast cap. They make a clip this exact size. You screw it, you put it on, and then a thing goes and it locks it perfectly in. We could have them put them on and then boom, take it off. And you could have all of your levels because even the eight footer fits back there. So we could make a cubby. Oops. Well, regardless, uh, we'll go ahead and take this out because that was a good fit. So let's do this. Let's think about where all these are going to go and let's stagger them. We've only got six. So what happens at the top could end up being just a stationary shelf with like a cubby to like set things in there. So by the time this goes here, yeah, I'll be able to put like a little shelf, you know, things like squares. Mm -hmm. That works out pretty good. I think so. Mm -hmm. All right, now grab your square. He's right there. I think, I don't know. You know that paparazzi song mm -hmm. that guy sings? Yeah. Like that emo kid? Mm -hmm. Have you listened to it? The whole thing? No. Just the, I'm your biggest fan. So if you listen to it, mm -hmm. the, like the, the, the music line, mm -hmm. like the main music line, is the zombies theme song. For Call of Duty? Yeah. So like it goes like, and then, so, and then that, so that's playing, and then that's what he... Uh, Seems the paparazzi song to. Interesting. You're hungry. Man, I don't know what I would do without you today. Struggling. Let's do one and then we'll make sure everything goes in good. Hmm. Sure. All right, man. I guess. It works for me. Give me another one. Don't worry about it. Yeah, I remember. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this doesn't work this way. Just give me a screw at a time. Good Lord. <laughs>
Hey, sorry about the audio loss, guys. Somewhere in the video, but this is the packout rack from Andy Glass, and you can see it's perfect. Your packouts, they sit right into the slots that are already CNC'd into the shelving, and you can fully open, get whatever tool you want, and then put it away and not coming out when you're moving down the road with the trailer. I'm excited because this is the last section of build out that I have planned currently. It's this area here above the counter and it's where I'm thinking about doing the kind of small miscellaneous storage, the more niche or niche storage, things like drill holsters, fastener storage, saw blades. I want to do something with all of the silicone sealants that we use, maybe battery holsters, uh, battery chargers, just that random stuff. And what my plan is, I just did a real quick sketch just for my conceptualization, is that I'm gonna run a full sheet of plywood from here up, and it's gonna go all the way back into here, and I'll get to why I'm gonna do that. But what I'm gonna do is build, I'm just gonna build a one foot deep box up, up on the very top that I'm gonna have holster hangers for the drills underneath, probably maybe some charger mounts, battery mounts, but I want that plywood to continue to come down so that in the future, if I want to hang anything else, I can do that. It'll give me a good place to fasten everything into the trailer wall. And I just think for growth or for potential additional like uh, customization, that gives me a better option than mounting, you know, only to a framing member of the wall. So what I'm gonna do is go build this box. I'm gonna get it mounted to this sheet of plywood. I'm gonna have to remove these screws so it can sit flush, and then I'll get it mounted in here. And the reason I'm gonna run the plywood back further is so it gives me something to mount some boxes or some sort of storage here, because I'm thinking, I don't know if it's gonna work, and I don't know if I wanna do this yet, but things like tubes of caulk. If I have a nice slot or a nice spot, I can throw tubes of caulk in there, set it on an angle, and it's probably never gonna fall out. Maybe I want a little drawer that I can pull out. I don't know. I'm just thinking that this is a wasted space that I shouldn't waste. And then my hope is that when I build this thing across, I'll have a place to stuff like my track saw tracks, my levels, like the, um, I mean, my big eight foot level or my extendable plate level that I don't use every day and I don't really need it sitting out. So that's what we're going to get going on. And uh, yeah, let's go. Kind of just working my way around this to make sure it's nice and tight. Now it's not always possible, but I try to hide the pocket hole screws. So this is going to be up against the wall. Hopefully you'll never really see it, but that side over there, I, I figured it's better to have it inside the shelf than have it on the face of the shelf where people can see it. You don't want to overscrew these. These are the exact length needed when using three by, uh, three quarter material. So if you go too far in, you will pop out the back side, and you don't want that obviously. Next what I'm gonna do is I got this thing laid out here and I'm gonna go ahead and fasten these in. Now I decided to shift the drill holsters over and I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to install a, uh, a little shelf underneath. And this is gonna be, I figured I got saw blades and stuff, like flat things that I can put in here. Might as well, I don't need all of this to be drill storage. And instead of having my drill storage over against that pack out rack, which I was gonna do, I wanted to get it away from there so that I can still utilize that cubby hole. What I'm gonna do is go ahead and mark all these out. And what I'm gonna do is just hook this guy here and I'm gonna mark every five inch, which will make it five inches on center. And I could always change these up and move them around if I, I want to in the future.
this is going to go like so. Am I going to be able to make this work or do I need my little right angle? I think I do. For installing all these, I'm just going to use some GRKs because I am going to have to screw from the bottom. I can't do the Craig Jig pocket hole screws, and honestly, it's going to be just fine. I just, I wish I could, but I can't. I'm not just eyeballing these, I mean, I kind of am, but because I cut everything on the table saw, I know everything is square, I'm just using the edge. I'm using the edge down here, flat, and I'm sliding it till this line is in the center. So yeah, I'm kind of using my eye, but I think I can get away with that. Let's go ahead and clean all these tools off and we'll give it a fit. At least what I did was I screwed this block on. That's gonna help hold that area. I've already got a screw started. I think I can do this. It's very awkward though. And what I did do, made a mark, although it's very hard to see right there. So now let's hope. I don't feel like that actually grabbed anything. That grabbed. Holy crap. Those are amazing. Pretty darn good, I like it. I can go ahead and put two of those in. I've got the spot for saw blades. I know it'll probably need a little face, but these are all beveled, so that should help these from coming out. And it's very well secured to the wall with these extra large um, metal, wood to metal fasteners. So I like it. I'll be able to put some uh, tracks, maybe. Maybe I'll be able to fit a 10 foot track up here, my levels, and I'm thinking maybe some battery storage options, I don't know, plus this cubby, I'm still gonna try to figure something out and just slide it in there. But I'm pretty excited, man, this is pretty cool. Yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I guess this isn't the end because I've still got a little bit to do, but you know, it'll happen when it happens, so hopefully you guys are cool with hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out on some of the future videos, including the remainder of the trailer build out. It's gonna be ever evolving, so it's just gonna probably be a playlist. It is a playlist that uh, you guys can just, you know, follow along with, or maybe go check some of the other build series videos that I've put up there. I appreciate it, and uh, I'm gonna get out of here. It's Sunday, it's already about supper time, so that means uh, I got a little bit of work to do before Monday morning. We'll catch you guys later. Thanks a lot, and have a good one.